Hello, Alpha Pilot. In my second video, I'm going to talk about SP or skill points, tech levels, professions, and some stuff. So let me start by recapping our tech levels. So our tech levels should be at level 6 in about 2 weeks or so, since we get a lot of SP in tutorials and advanced tutorials, in pilot growth funds, and in corporations daily log in cumulative rewards up to 30 days. So as an alpha player, when we reach tech level 6, it will be our maximum tech level for the rest of the month or 2, or maybe 3. Because, as an alpha player, it takes forever to level up, our tech level to level 7. But don't you worry, newbie. Kek it kek, because there's a way to speed up the progress. Like I said in my first video, like about a week ago or so, to speed up our tech levels is to get SP capsules that as I call it. You can get them SP capsules in the Concord Pass or in events. To check the events, just click the event icons pretty easy. Also, we can get double SP once we reach Omega, here in the monthly login rewards. I got my Omega with the help of a friend and some guildies who lend me their ships to help farm my SK. And this is how many times I go, Kaboom. Three in PK and the rest is in Elite Ships Anomalies. As a newbie, we are bound to have our beginner's luck. And so many mistakes is. But don't you worry, stick around and I'll help you learn the game with my own personal experiences in this game. We alpha players with tech level 6 can do so little and farm so little disc. This is because of tech level limit. What I mean by that is, our profit depends on our tech levels and our clone if it's Omega or Alpha. For example, our accounting skill, we need to max out its levels to level 5 in order to cut our fee in broker's fee tax and in market fee tax. This is very important skill, make sure to level your accounting skill before selling more items. Apart from that, this exploration job or profession as I call it is limited to players with Omega account with tech level 7 or higher. Because we alpha players will have difficulties trying to find items or signals if we have no skills to support it. Just like this video, I detected the signals, but I was unable to find the spot. Even though I'm Omega, my chance of finding items is just around 10% or maybe 5% without exploration skill. And most of Alpha players would quit at this stage, mostly because of how slow risk is for them. I know because I've been there. Also, in order to find items according to other players that I asked, we need a minimum of 90 to 75% spin radius. So an Alpha player's life is very sad. Kick, kick, kick. But that's more the reason to find ways to try and find our path or profession to help us grow faster in this game, or at least for me. So for an alpha player, exploration job or profession is still locked. And there's very few professions an alpha player to choose from. Like there's actually just two professions that I can recommend for you, Alpha Pilot. One is to hunt scout anomalies that spawn in the entire galaxy or map per I don't know. But your job is to roam the galaxy in search for these scout anomalies. Profits here varies depending on the scout anomalies level. Like this one has a 4 in its name, so it's level 4. To enter the scout anomaly, you need to find and activate the warp gate to enter the room. The first room will be just an empty space, like in this video. That is, if you're the only player in that map, because other players can also enter that room, and depending on the security level, if it's 0.5 and above it's safe from PK. But if it's 0.4 and lower than other players can kill you. Like what happened here? 
I almost died at the last minute to a player while I was looting. And the worst thing is, this worm ship's not meant for this kind of job. There are other low-cost ships that's perfect for this job. This ship alone costs 300 million, so it would be a shame to lose that much amount of money compared to what we can get from this anomaly. So fast forward to the last enemy ship, where I was looting the boxes. Then this guy jumped in. I was confident that I can escape, because my warp time is just 3.60 seconds. But it seems the guy has 3 second lock time or lower. Because he was able to lock and hit me with a warp scrambler, while my ship is preparing to warp away. So last minute, I was looting some ship to breathe, then this guy pops in. Autopilot engaged. We're being warp scrambled. We're under attack. Armor damaged. Autopilot engaged. Auto Autopilot engaged. Drive active. Sorry, I was unable to show you my estimated loot there. But I was going to where's the soda, but went home to switch ship because I don't want to lose this ship. So I'm in Wera's holder, and luckily, there's another scout anomaly. And this is my estimated loot. This is just an example of how much profit you can get from Scout Anomalies. It usually ranges from 3 million up to 20 million depending on the Scout Anomaly levels. Oh, and don't go hitting level 5 Scout Anomalies. Ships there are too strong for an Alpha player with tech level 6. The next profession is none other than looting ship debris. Profit here depends on the scarcity of the item in the market. In other words, before you go looting ship debris, check the market first and look for debris that is currently low in stocks. And you will know when the current item is running low in stocks, because their price will go skyrocket from the item's original price. How? Here, let me show you. Now, press and hold the item to open up other information. Easy, right? So, you either hunt the medium or large anomalies for ship debris. Just stay in high sec level 4 to be safe for now. But if you want to get more debris, you can go hunt in low sec 0.4 or lower. Just go for the level 4 or lower anomaly levels. But be careful in low sec, because other players can kill you. You can also go for 0.5 base anomalies. It's relatively safe, and other players can't attack you here. The only thing you need to be careful of is the elite ships in base anomalies, because they can kill you if you're not careful. Also, when you clear the base anomaly, the level of the base will go back to level 1, and it takes some hours or days to level them up. This also resets the large, medium, small, and scout and inquisitor anomaly levels of that map. So that's the two jobs or professions that I can recommend for you Alpha Pilot. This is perfect for Alpha players with tech level 6 or lower. This method of farming is, is faster than doing the encounter mission 
with your current tech level. Because you only get two or three millions per 20 minutes in encounter missions in advanced level. Although hunting for scout anomaly is based on luck. You can also try to spawn scouts by clearing anomalies in that map. This way, you speed up the process of spawning the scout anomaly. I tried it one time clearing anomalies for scout, and my best record is spawning to scouts under one hour, and my worst record is not spawning scouts in one hour. Kick a kick. So I hope this will help you, Alpha Pilot, to get your Omega clone fast. So good luck, Alpha Pilot, and we'll see you soon.